Just licked the Trump Tower, you know what I'm saying? I just lost a damn bet. Hey, up, Neil. I don't know if you remember me. It's Kobe from second grade. So we had a little falling out. I know we were best friends at the time, but you didn't invite me to your birthday party, and I got a little mad. So what I did was I found exactly where you licked that Trump Tower and swabbed your DNA right off the side of that and put it in a chemical-grade DNA case and brought it back to my laboratory in California. I then added a little bit of titanic acid to kill the bad DNA, and I put your DNA down my self-made DNA diff Fuser so I can extract every single piece of DNA perfectly into an agire plate. Each one of these drops that's dropping into the agire plate is your piece of DNA that's already been diffused and extracted from that Q-tip into the agire plate. It's an absolutely amazing science that you can Google and figure this out on your own. And then sterilize it with C347 chrome solution and put it under a microscope to make sure that the DNA was still alive to be cloned. I put it under a lens to 17 magnify the DNA and it looked absolutely amazing as you can see the yellow that I circled is a cytosine DNA cell these are the ones that they use to gene and clone people I then placed the agar plate in a reinforced carbon machine 24 hours later I took it back out and put it in the DNA grade tube and put it inside a micro centrifuge for 48 hours that's you at only four weeks old this is your fetus at five months old you can see right here the mouth the little hands and in a few years I hope to have our friendship back just like we were when we were little kids